Nazis and dinosaurs. I know, I know, Dino D-Day sounds like the beginning to a new Indiana Jones movie, but it's actually an incredibly fun team-based shooter. Dino D-Day was free to play from July 29th to the 31st and has now been bumped back up to its full price of $10. Although I'd like to see more polish to this title, I think it's got an amazing base to launch off of. The market's been flooded with World War II games over the past few years to the point where any game talking about Nazis usually registers as white noise. But Dino D-Day really broke up the monotony with a totally new concept. The Nazis have discovered a way to breed killer dinosaurs and create a raptor army that serves only the Third Reich. The Allies have yet to really find a way to do that, but acquired a Proceratops they nicknamed Trigger that the Nazis have just cast off due to a bad back leg. It's a little goofy, but I'm still on board. You can choose to play on the Allied or Axis side and utilize dinosaurs to win the war. Play as either a team-appropriate dino or one of the many soldiers trained to fight alongside these creatures. The Allied side has six human classes and one dinosaur class, whereas the Axis side has three human classes and four dino classes at their disposal. Although the Axis has a considerably larger amount of dinosaurs to choose from, either team is really quite fun to play on. It's just as much fun taking down someone as a Velociraptor as it is to kill one in midair as it pounces at you. Just like a lot of great titles, this game started off as a mod to a bigger game. In Dino D-Day's case, it was initially a single level mod for Half-Life 2. It's important to take a moment and realize this game was developed by two companies that originally produced shows for the History and Discovery Channel. It's interesting because the quality of content is so high that it doesn't matter that this game isn't the smoothest or the prettiest. It feels authentic, as authentic as dinosaurs being involved in World War II can possibly feel. If the high concept was a possible reality, Dino D-Day is an accurate portrayal of that world. The speed at which creatures move and the types of machinery they can carry all fits together really well. There are five maps available to play in three game modes, King of the Hill, Team Deathmatch, and Objectives, the last of which I could not find a populated server to play on. With the free-to-play weekend and temporary price drop also came the addition of a T-Rex, which works a lot like the tank in Left 4 Dead. It's assigned to a random player, and it's your sole job not to blow it. Like this edition, I hope we can look forward to more maps, game modes, and general updates to the overall experience. As I said before, this game has a great basis and just needs to grow a little. Hey. It seems like such a great and hilarious concept. I really wonder why it hasn't been done before. If it has, I've completely missed out on it. Using the Source Engine, this game will have the setup of other competitive Valve online team-based shooters like Team Fortress 2, Day of Defeat Source, Counter-Strike Source, you get the idea. If you've played any of those games, you'll feel right at home in Dino D-Day. The game doesn't always play smoothly, but it's massively fun. Simple, action-packed, and fun. Getting caught up on geometry while you're a giant T-Rex isn't so bad because you're a T-Rex, oh my god! It's like playing as Wexter from Axe Cop, and if you don't get the reference, please direct yourself to the webcomic post-haste. Classes feel balanced well, and even the T-Rex isn't terribly overpowered. Right now, what this game needs most is community support. Dino D-Day doesn't have any major marketplace success yet, but has the potential to be something huge and wonderful. Like any good Steam game, updates are free, so this title can only get better from here on out. And I'm pretty sure they won't be adding hats to this game anytime soon.